What's good, y'all? This your boy Lazarus, back at it again with another video, you feel me? And today, we got another crazy reaction. Now, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Follow me on the gram, you know what I'm saying? Help your boy out. Get him out there, you feel me? Love y'all. Had to get some of that water. Still getting over a cold. But, uh, my cold can't stop me from reacting to this. This is crazy. So, if y'all haven't known, Rick Ross is giving his baby mama, and by the way, he has three children by her. He's giving her baby mama, you know, his baby mama, my bad, $1,100 a month to take care of his children. Eleven hundred, and man, I ain't grow up with that type of money, bro. And I have nine siblings. Okay, and my mama was appreciative of just having us, just having a family. Sorry for the lag for the video. My internet connection is tripping, but I'm still getting this video out. I don't give a freak. She was very appreciative of just having other human beings that were her children in the house with her. Period. A lot of y'all are very unappreciative. And even Kendra J, I would even go as far as to say she's very unappreciative. Because I didn't even have that type of money given to my family. And I had 10 siblings. I mean, this 10, my mama had 10 of us. They all blood too. Like, this is crazy, but let's, let's watch the video. Let's see what this woman has to say. Let's see. Just watching Kendra G um, page where everybody told us something. Why you talking about $11,000? Rick Ross paying his uh, baby mom $11,000 a month. Not enough for three kids. Ciao. Ciao. Because if she want to live in a nice house, forget nice, she want to live in a rich ass house, in a rich ass neighborhood the way her kids deserve to live, that's not enough. They all need money for private school. We need money for cars. I said cars plural because we deserve it. Like you not about to hit me with three kids. $11,000 is not enough money. Mortgage. Unless he done bought the cars and bought the house and paid for the school, then giving her 11000 on top of that. Then no, that is not enough money. And I don't want to hear nobody saying about 11000 being enough just for the kids and she still need to work. Nope, I don't need to work. I pushed out all three kids. See, this is the entitlement that a lot of women have nowadays. Homies, beware. They feel like just because they pushed out some children, they deserve rich is. From what I recall, you work for riches. You don't just get it, you earn it. And like I was saying prior to, before I even started this video, which was crazy regardless, is the fact that why do people not cherish regular memories and things that you could just create with another human being? It's all about money nowadays. The fact that she just said she deserves cars, she deserves a house, she deserves to be taken care of, and her children deserve to be taken care of. No, you don't. No human being, I don't care if it's a baby, deserves to be taken care of. It is earned. There's babies out here struggling all the dog on time. But oh yeah, they all deserve to be taken care of. I don't mean to sound like a punk or Regardless, it's a sad situation because there are children out there starving. But let me un let me let y'all understand this. To people that are rip living normal lives, you earn it. Some of them children, they can't earn it because they just were put in that situation. But just because you're living a normal life and you happen to ha sleep with a very rich dude you deserve what 
That's like saying you deserted ever since you was born and you didn't. You have to work. You had to go through life. You don't just get it by just, oh, I just get it. And then you say you don't need to work. You clearly feel like you don't need to work for anything. And that's sad. We all had to be out here working for something. We had to work for our relationships and we had to, and us men, we had to go out there and put in that work to make you guys happy. And this is what we get. Just because we're not cool. And to all the women that said that, oh, 1100 $1, a month is good. I appreciate y'all because a lot of women don't get that privilege. Like, why are y'all women so unappreciative? This is, I'm dead serious. Why are y'all so unappreciative of just having life? And no, none of y'all are actually out here starving like certain people in the world are. Going through poverty, losing their houses, losing everything they had owned. Just to a natural disaster. Y'all not even losing life to that even. But, oh, if he's not paying me over 1100, paying me this set amount of money, uh-uh, we ain't ever gonna be good. I need more than that. I deserve more than that. You don't deserve nothing. I don't deserve nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You work for what you get, period. Just, ha just trying to have excuses just to be lazy. I, I, I can't stand human beings like this. This goes for men and women. But women, they're the most entitled. After the man put in all that work, oh, oh, since I have your children, you are taking care of me 100%. Freak no. Freak no. That's disrespectful. And I'm surprised that most of y'all women don't think this is disrespectful. This is top tier disrespect. I hate to see it. I hate to see it. And y'all, I hope y'all hate to see it too. Nobody deserves money like that. And Kendra G, I don't care if you're watching this. That is ridiculous. For a woman, I'm pretty sure you didn't even grow up with that type of money. So why should a woman that just has children deserve it? Nobody deserves nothing, bro. I'm grateful for just having, you know, nine siblings and a parents at home. I'm grateful for that. Yeah, I probably didn't get to go to private school. Yeah, I probably didn't get always had the best clothes. And yeah, I probably after I graduated, I didn't have a car. But that does not mean I deserved it. Because I was born. That just sounds insane. And disrespectful to all the hardworking people that actually put in the work to get where they are at. Definitely when they came from nothing, when they come from that, them trenches, them trap houses. And this goes for women and men that be busting they behind out there to make a living just so they can eat. To any woman and to any man out there, be appreciative that you have have internet connection to watch this darn video. Be appreciative that you have food to put in your stomach. It may not be the best tasting food, but it's something to give you energy so you can walk. Be grateful that you have TVs, a TV. Be grateful you have a phone. Be grateful you have family that care about you because there's people out there that don't have it. I was worrying about Birkin bags and all these other expensive things. Be grateful for what you have. Don't be grateful for what you don't have. And don't be worrying about what you don't have. Be grateful for what you have. Period. And I'm done, man. I know I'm lagging, but I'm done. What needed to be said needed to be said, period. I don't care. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, 
comment, subscribe, share the video. I love y'all, and I want everybody to elevate. Not just men. I want everybody to, because this, if you think like this woman right here, why, why would I as a man, even as an average man, even as a high value man, why would I want to deal with a woman that doesn't even value that she has a roof, food, clothes, and a happy place to live? I'm not saying, oh, she's happy. I'm talking about a happy place to live in. Be grateful. A lot of people of this generation are just ungrateful. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care of yourselves. I love y'all. Peace. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Kingdom grind. grind. We don't want